What is universal repeater? Generally speaking, it expands your current wireless coverage and improves the Wi-Fi signal strength. There are two repeater modes provided by Totalink and 200RE, repeater bridge mode and repeater one mode. First, about repeater bridge mode, let's see the diagram carefully. Before set up N200RE, you should keep in mind the SSID of N100RE. Then, collect the AP and N200RE by cable. Power on both of them. Now, let's start to set up N200RE. Go to Network Properties to make sure your PC obtain IP address automatically. Then open Net Browser, enter the IP address of N200RE, which is printed on the case. Then tap in Admin for both username and password. First, we should stop DHCP server. This is to avoid N200RE assign IP to PCs. Click Apply to save the settings. Okay, then re-enter the web interface of N200RE. Go to wireless setting, repeater setup to configure repeater parameters. Enable repeater function, choose repeater bridge, click scan NAP to search for the SSID of your current router. Here we choose Xeon. Click Select AP. You are required to enter the correct password of this Wi-Fi network. Click Apply. Now we can see the PC has connected to Xeon successfully. Then we can go to any browser to test the wireless connection. For example, Totalink official website. Okay, access successfully. Then disconnect the cable on the PC and enable wireless network connection. On the bottom right, choose Totalink N200RE. Click Connect. Then try any website to test the internet connection. OK. About to repeat the one mode. It is similar to repeat the bridge mode, just don't need to stop the HCP function of N200RE. First, make sure your PC obtains the IP address automatically. Then open any browser, 
Enter the IP address of N200RE. It is printed on the case. Type in admin for both username and password. Then go to Wally settings. Repeater setup to configure repeater parameters. Enable repeater function. Choose repeater 1. Click scan IP to search for the SSID of your current router. Here we choose Zoom meeting room. Click select IP. Here we need to enter the correct password of this Wi-Fi network. Click apply. Now we can say the PC is connected to N200RE. Open any browser to test the wireless connection. For example, Google website. OK, being connected. Then. Disconnect the cable and enable wireless network connection. On the bottom right, choose TotalLink N200RE. Click Connect. Then try any website to test the internet connection. OK, finally, let's say the difference between repeater bridge and repeater one. For repeater bridge, the PC connected to N200RE has obtained the IP address from the primary router N100RE. So we must stop DHCP of N200RE. But for repeater one, the PC has obtained IP address from N200RE directly. This means repeater 1 allows more PCs to access internet 